Gary Taub says, good calories, bad calories, challenging the conventional wisdom on diet, weight control, and disease, is a compelling exploration of the dietary landscape, meticulously unraveling the complex relationship between nutrition, health, and weight. Taubes embarks on a journey to challenge the prevailing notions surrounding diet, delving into the history of nutrition science while scrutinizing established beliefs. At its core, the book challenges the conventional wisdom that reducing fat intake is the key to a healthy diet and weight management. Taubes questions the validity of this widely accepted belief, presenting a thought-provoking argument that it is not solely the quantity of calories consumed that influences weight gain but rather the quality of these calories. He meticulously investigates the impact of different macronutrients, particularly carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, on the body's metabolic processes and weight regulation. One of the book's fundamental assertions is the significance of insulin in the body's regulation of fat storage and utilization. Taubes contends that carbohydrates, especially those with a high glycemic index, trigger increased insulin production, leading to the storage of fat and hindering its breakdown. He draws upon extensive scientific research to support this claim, presenting evidence that challenges the traditional viewpoint on the role of calories in weight gain and obesity. Furthermore, Taub scrutinizes the flawed methodology and biases prevalent in nutritional research. He highlights how scientific studies often rely on observational data or flawed experiments, leading to misleading conclusions about the effects of different foods on health. By exposing these methodological shortcomings, he urges readers to adopt a more critical perspective when interpreting nutritional studies and their implications. Throughout the book, Taubes meticulously dissects the history of dietary recommendations, tracing their origins and unveiling the socio-political influences that shaped prevailing dietary guidelines. He sheds light on how these recommendations, often based on incomplete or misinterpreted data, became ingrained in societal beliefs about nutrition, despite lacking robust scientific evidence. Moreover, good calories, bad calories, serves as a wake-up call, urging individuals to re-evaluate their dietary choices and challenge the established norms. Taub's advocates for a shift towards a more balanced and personalized approach to nutrition, emphasizing the importance of understanding the metabolic effects of different foods on an individual level. The book is not without its controversies, as it challenges deeply entrenched beliefs in the field of nutrition and prompts a re-examination of established paradigms. Taub's meticulous research and compelling arguments, however, make a strong case for reconsidering the prevailing wisdom surrounding diet, weight control, and disease. In essence, good calories, bad calories, is a thought-provoking and paradigm-shifting exploration that challenges readers to rethink their understanding of nutrition, weight management, and health. Taubes's thorough examination of scientific evidence, historical perspectives, and societal influences provides a compelling narrative that encourages a more critical and informed approach to dietary choices and their impact on overall well-being.